This is polio, the cruel centuries-old crippler of children. Enlarged 77,000 times, these are actual polio viruses. To the University of Michigan campus in 1955 came hundreds of scientists hoping to hear the words that would signal the end of polio's long and ruthless reign of terror. Heading the medical men was Dr. Jonas Salk, whose polio vaccine had been tested and carefully evaluated. Copies of the official finding were wheeled in as Dr. Salk talked with his family on what was to be his day of magnificent achievement. Reporters pressed forward to get the results the whole world was waiting for, rushed to their typewriters to spread the momentous news. Inside the meeting hall, Dr. Salk on the right and Dr. Thomas Francis, director of the year-long study of the vaccine, awaited the arrival of the report. <laughs> Room was electric with expectancy. Then the historic announcement. The vaccine works. It is safe, effective, and potent. The tests proved it up to 90% effective in preventing paralytic polio. Someday, said Dr. Salk, a vaccine may completely eradicate the menace of polio. Working at Pittsburgh University's Virus Research Laboratory, the 40-year-old Dr. Salk labored three years, often 16 hours a day, six days a week, to painstakingly perfect the vaccine before its mass testing. The serum contains polio virus, which, although killed, still has power to stimulate the body into producing millions of protective antibodies in the bloodstream, building a wall between children and paralytic polio. Early production of the virus vaccine was difficult, limiting the experiment. Even so, it was the largest such medical test ever attempted. 440,000 youngsters in 44 states were inoculated with the Salk vaccine, 210,000 received dummy shots, and more than a million other children were observed in comparison. Not a single child who completed the Salk vaccinations died of paralytic polio. Laboratories immediately began turning out the precious serum for our nation's children. Students were quickly vaccinated with serum made available by the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis. Though some youngsters were apprehensive, they learned that the vaccination hardly hurt at all. The genius of Jonas Salk contributed a great milestone of the century, a victory over polio.